How you doing, know, Jersey? Welcome to Ledger Live. You know, in the past several years, we've had politicians here in New Jersey call press conferences to say, I'm running for office, I'm not running for office, I'm stepping down from office, I'm stepping down from running for office. But I can't remember anyone calling a press conference to say, I'm not running for office, but if someone were to ask me to run for office, well, I might have to think about running for office. Randall Pinkett, who was last week rumored to be Governor John Corzine's first choice for his running mate as Lieutenant Governor, held this press conference in Newark At today. At this time, the governor has not offered me the position. If he were to offer me the position, my family and I would then decide if this is the right time for me to enter public life. Nothing has been offered and therefore nothing is to be decided. Pinkett is a Rhodes Scholar and successful businessman who gained fame when he won Donald Trump's reality TV show, The Apprentice. When it was rumored that Corzine would choose Pinkett last week, he became the target of criticism, negative editorials and derision, people equating him with other reality TV program stars. But to be sure, a main point of today's press conference was for Randall Pinkett to get up there and say today, I'm not just the guy you saw on The Apprentice. My goal here is, is not to persuade or to convince anyone of why I should be considered for lieutenant governor. Primarily, it is to have a balanced conversation that those who would try to narrowly define me as simply somebody who went on a reality television show or a reality television personality, that to me is not a balanced conversation. That when you look closely at, at who I am, you, you begin to peel off the layers of my academic, my professional, my business, my civic, and other accomplishments. You know, this guy's got a point. Just to win The Apprentice, you gotta be pretty smart. It's not like you can just have eight babies or be able to sing really well and come out on top. But when you look at Pinkett's resume, whoa. One Pinkett supporter told me today that they particularly took issue with this Star Ledger cartoon that portrayed him as a lightweight, equating him with other reality TV show program stars. Your, your cartoon unfairly portrayed him as a reality TV lightweight. I'm not sure if I portrayed him as a lightweight. I, uh, well, maybe I did. I think it's an odd place to go to look for your lieutenant governor candidate. Uh, candidate. I mean, Chris Christie appointed a, a picked a, a, a female prosecutor with, uh, you know, public service experience. Um, he's a motivational speaker, essentially, isn't he? Um, He's a business owner. He's a business, business owner, entrepreneur, business owner. Uh, and reality TV star. Uh, I don't know how you can uh, uh, expect an editorial cartoonist to lay off that. So who's it going to be? Corzine has until Monday to choose his lieutenant governor running mate. Until then, from the beautiful parking deck of the Star Ledger overlooking downtown Newark, take it easy, Jersey.